guys um today we'll be doing a delta plc timers timers if you ever noticed that um in a delta plc um for you to put like a one second you write 10 for you to put two seconds you write 20. if you ever ask yourself why you do that i know some of you guys you just claim these principles but um, there's, a, there's a reason behind it, and there's a way to understand it better. So as you can see from this timer that was running here on the screen, uh, this 100 is equal to 10 seconds, which means the time base of this timer is in 100 milliseconds. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how these timers work and um, uh, what's the principle behind it so that it becomes easy. Okay, um, uh, I'm gonna come to the manual. Right, um, the manual. Okay, right. So these are the timers that are supported by a Delta PLC. Uh, as you can see, they've got ranges. Uh, this region here, this region that we have here, it's under 100 milliseconds time base. So this is 100 milliseconds time base. I'm gonna show you how this time base work, time base works, and then um. Uh, so T0 to 126, we've got 127 points, which are 127 timers that we have, uh, which support, which are under the 100 millisecond time base. Um, and then we move on to the next one from T250 to 255. It's an accumulative timer under a time base of 100 milliseconds, meaning this accumulative timer is a timer that uh, when your PLC stops or when the power switches off, when you switch on again, the PLC uh, start accumulating like from where it left, it doesn't reset to zero. Um, so we have got a, a 10 milliseconds time base, and then we have got a one millisecond time base, which means we have got only one timer, one timer, uh, which is a 127, which is a one millisecond time base. And we've got only one of this timer, which is just an ordinary timer. And we have got four of this nature, under one millisecond time base, which are which are accumulative, so it's like only a few under one millisecond time base. These timers are very fast; they are very fast. I'm gonna explain again. So, um, what we are going to do, we are going to dealing with deal with a range of T0 to 127 under 100 millisecond time base, right? Right. So, as you can see, T10 is under the range that we are working on. So I'm going to use T0, and then I type here 100 milliseconds. Okay, so this is our time base that we are working with. Um, so where does that come in now? Where does that come in now? So it's like 100 milliseconds, I want small letters, milliseconds times um, the seconds that you want, times the seconds that you want. So if you say one second, it, it, the PLC is saying one second times 100 milliseconds. If you say two seconds, it's saying two seconds times 100 milliseconds. Where is this coming from? Uh, if you go to our, um, to our calculator, um, if you go to our, our calculator, what is a millisecond? A millisecond is, uh, a millisecond is um, zero comma zero zero one right so this is your milli this is your millisecond this is your millisecond so what we are doing when you've got a time base of 100 millisecond so we are saying um that value that you are putting in here times 0, 0.001 times 100 so it's like times 100 here right so it's 0, 0.001 times 100 times your seconds see times a second so this is 100 this is your milli milli second this one here which is saying 0, 0.07 so it's like um it's a hundred times 0, 0.001 in bracket times your seconds right so how is how how, how, how does this work exactly in practical so we are saying a hundred times zero comma zero zero one, which is hundred milli second, right? 
and then times, and then if I put a 10 here, the answer is 1. So it means if I want 1 second, I must put a 10 because the PLC is saying 100 times 0 0.001 times the seconds that I punch in. So that's how it works. So that's how it works. It's 100 milli, and then here you punch in your seconds, something like that. So it's 100 milliseconds. So it's under the time base of 100 milliseconds, right? So uh, if you want um, if you want a, a 1, you put 10 under this time base of 100 milliseconds. If you want 20 seconds, you put 2. So I'm going to put 60 here. I'm going to put 60. I must get, um, I'm going to put 60. I must get equals to 6 seconds, OK? Here I go, I put 60 here, and then I download, uh, take note the M1000 back there, it's a function that when a POC goes from stop to run, uh, it, it switches on automatically, it's a flag, right, mm. so we're going to run now, uh, I'm going to come online, okay, it was already running, so I'm just going to stop, to reset, and I'm going to run now. So one, two, three, four, six. So that's your six seconds. That's your six seconds. Um, so that's how this time base works. So we are moving on to another um, to another time base now, which is uh, the next one. It's a uh, ten milliseconds. Ten milliseconds, and then the next one will be. A one millisecond. You know, a one millisecond is difficult to see, though. But I'm just gonna try to explain. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this whole block just to save us time, right? So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the timer to have a timer which is in the range of um, ten milliseconds, which is T two hundred, which is T two hundred. So you can pick any timer within this range. It's it will fall under a ten milliseconds time base. A 10 milliseconds is different from other PLC like in Siemens, um, the TIA portal. You can just type in 10 seconds and then it, it, it knows automatically. You don't have to do this uh, to know what to put here. It's a bit simplified on other PLCs. Some PLCs just type 10s, just type 10m. It's called it knows its minutes, something like that, right? Um, now I must put T200. So the POC automatically now know that I am under the 10 millisecond time base. So I must remove a 100 here and then I put a 10 here. So if you go back to our mates now, if you go back to our mates now, it's now, um, it's now um, uh, 10 times the millisecond 0, 0, 0, 0,001, right, equals... 0, 0, 0.001 and then times so our value that you want our timer to be so that value is like um we're using 60 if i put 60 here so it means 60 now that same 60 that i put is now a 0, 0.6 when you're dealing with a, a 10 millisecond time base of which how am i going to simulate the, the 10 milliseconds for you uh, this the 0, 0.6 i can't because uh it's even more quicker it's a uh, half of a second so what I'm going to do to make this number bigger, you put a 600, and then we go back to our mates. Um, we say uh, uh, 0, 0,001 for milli times 10, which is our 10 milli. We have 10, and then we have milli, which is 0, 0,01, and then times 600. You get six seconds. So. Um, for us to compensate for that, we have to put a, a 600 for it to get a second when we are under this time base. You get, you, I think you are getting how it works. You need to put a 600. So it's, it's 600 times 10 times 0, 0,001. That's how, how we are. We get a six seconds here. You get six seconds. So I'm going to download. Mm. I'm sure if we're executing correctly, these timers must switch on at the same time. You must see a green. Mm -hmm at the same time um oh guys if uh, if this information is very helpful to you don't forget to click the subscribe button don't forget to support me thank you guys in advance thank you
right? So I'm going to run now, right? So these guys, they must turn like green at the same time, right? You see? So um, if they turn green, it means this 600 is 6 seconds, but it's under a 10 millisecond time base. This one as well is 60. It's a 6 seconds under a 100 millisecond time base. So this is how it works. So if you want to delay like a um, bigger minutes, like let's say you want to delay like 10 minutes or something, you have to use this timer. You see, you have to use a timer like a, under a 100 millisecond time base. If, if you use... Um, if you use a, a timer, which is a, a 10 millisecond time base, which means you need to put a bigger value here. And you'll be limited now. You'll be limited because this timer is a 32 bit. You see, you can only put a bigger value like a 37,000. That's the largest bigger value that you can put here. So you'll be limited now because it's a, it's, I think it's a 16 bit, this one. It's a 16 bit. So you are limited. So I'm just going to do the 1 millisecond, but ah, the 1 millisecond we are not going to be able to see. But I'm just going to try uh to put this one as well copy test save time right uh wha wha what's what's the range what's the range here uh it's a t127 but only one point i'm not doing the accumulative i'm gonna do a tutorial about the accumulative later okay one point under t127 t127 so when you're saying points you're meaning like um how many how many timers t127 but if you come back here we must remove the 10 here and then we have got now one millisecond right it's one milli so it's one times 0 0,01 0 .01 times 60 something like that one millisecond so want to know what's the equivalent of 60 here want to know what's the equivalent of 60 here so um, you come back here if you come back here we say one times zero comma zero zero one equals and then we say times 600 the last one that we had you still get zero comma six so it's now time i think for us to get six seconds it's now like six thousand zero it's like a one times our milli because times six thousand that's equal to six six seconds so if i put six thousand here i might get an error definitely if i compile oh wonderful wonderful oh it's six thousand yeah so you get an error if you put something like a uh, thirty eight thousand let me try mm -hmm. definitely yeah. I'm going to explain why. Why? I'm going to explain why. Because we are limited by a 16-bit uh, instruction. So, I'll put 6,000. Right. Okay, okay. My mistake. I'm going to put 6,000. Mm. Okay. Um. Right, I must stop so that we can start uh, at the same time. Right. So these are our timers. They are both running. You can see they are going at the same time. Green. So both of them are on six seconds now. Both of them are on six seconds now. But take a look. Take a look here. For us to put six seconds, we just use the sixty. Uh, here, for us to put six um, six seconds, we put six hundred. Here, for us to put. Um, six seconds we put six thousand right so why did that thirty eight thousand give us a, a an error because now we are limited with a um, with a 16 bit it's like two uh to the power 16 because that value divided by two eight seven six so we are we are limited by this instruction this is the largest number that you can put on a timer if not uh thirty seven six seven because you will be having a zero. So if I put 32767, let me try now. 32767. Let me combine. Zero. No warning. Let me put an eight now. Let 
there you go so you are limited by a 16-bit um, instruction you are limited by a 16-bit instruction so now you see uh, if you want to we already have a value like 6000 here which we will use on um on this uh, one millisecond timer we have a value like uh, 6000 so meaning you cannot use this timer the smaller one the, the one millisecond timer to calculate a number like a, a 10 minutes or something you rather go to this one because the bigger the number here you are moving closer to the maximum to the maximum range of a timer so when you want bigger values you must use the 100 millisecond timer when you want something you you, you use a 10 millisecond want something that is very fast like a timer that just a pause just a pause you must use this one if you want a, a timer that is a bit quicker you use this one only those small numbers but uh, the general is this one this is the general timer if you know you have used all your timers then you jump over to this one but there's a way that if you want to use like calculate like hours and all those kind of things you can use a, a counter in your program uh and then or you can use a, a the rtc function i'm gonna explain that in the next lecture the real time clock as well then you can do your hours calculation let's say you want something to switch on after two hours or 12 hours so use the rtc or use counter you in, you incorporated with the timer use the timer and the counter at the same time when a counter when a timer reaches one minute it's the counter says one until the counter reaches to 60 then it's an hour is etc etc some people can do it like that but rtc is the um, simplest way possible so i think i've done everything here i've done everything